What's up, YouTube fam? Listen, I don't even know how to even introduce this. Di Listen, it, off the chain. Listen, three cheese steak pizza my way, the Yaya's catering way. Let me show you how easy it is to make. Stay tuned. What's going on, my YouTube family? On the menu today, we are having steak pizza or cheese steak pizza, as some call it. So, here's all of the main ingredients you need your heavy whipping cream, of course, some cheese, real steak meat. This is not steakums, try to use real steak meat. Store bought pizza crust, Pillsbury, hot banana peppers. You can use them out if you want, whatever kind you want, or if you don't want to use peppers, don't use them. Mushrooms, onion, red and green pepper. So this is all of the main ingredients that we are going to need for our delicious cheese steak pizza. So let's get into it, y'all. Okay, my YouTube fam, I am back. Y'all already know what's about to go down when I got my trusty pan heated up. Let's get into it. So the first thing we gonna do, y'all, is cook our veggies down. We are gonna get these vegetables nice and soft. We are gonna start with a truckload of butter. There you go. Start with a truckload of butter. Turn my fire down to medium. I had it on high. Trying to preheat this pan. Okay. So we're starting off with some butter. And like I showed you guys previously, we have our, um, this is two bell peppers. Actually, yes. So this is two bell peppers that was half leaf ripened. So it works perfectly for me. So I get a little bit of the red, a little bit of the green. So that's two bell peppers, and that's like three small white onions. Let's get that in the pan. Hope everyone is doing spectacular today. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to smash that like button comment if you have not subscribed already please subscribe what are you waiting for i will come on camera and give you guys a nice big smile but i'm looking crazy so we just gonna stay in the background so yes it is pizza night at my house tonight and we didn't want the plain Jane. We wanted to take it up a notch. So I said, let me make y'all some steak a pizza or cheese steak pizza my way. The guy got catering way. So I'm going to sweat these vegetables down, y'all. Y'all know the drill. Y'all seen me sweat down vegetables before. I want them to get nice and not too soft because this still has to go in the oven. So al dente, if you will. I'm also going to go in and add these mushrooms right here. These are baby portobello mushrooms that I just chopped up, roughly chopped up. So I'm going to add those in. If you don't like mushrooms, skip the step. Make it exactly how you want to make it, okay? Because this is for you and your family. It's for you and your family. So make it the way you want. So let's get these all sweated down, ladies and gentlemen. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these out and then we're going to get our 100% real steak meat up in this pan. Then we go combine everything together. We're going to make it rock and roll. It's going down. It's going down. Once you see this recipe, how easy it is, you will never order another steak pizza again. 
I'm telling you. So let's get this all sweated down and I will be back. Okay, YouTube family, so my veggies are about five minutes away from where I want them. Get this out the way. If you can see that good. They're getting nice and sweated down. Some are getting like a little char on it. So now we are about to go in with some simple seasonings. Keep it really simple because you don't want to take away from the authentic cheese steak pizza taste. So we going in with some slap the crap out of your mama. So going with some slap your mama. Just like that. Y'all know I don't. I just season until season until my brain tell me to stop. We also will go in with some garlic pepper. Simple seasonings. Simple. Garlic pepper, just like that. And lastly, we are going in with some garlic salt. Just like that that. Okay? Okay. Let's give it a nice toss again. So what I'm going to do guys is let this finish cooking for about three to five more minutes. Then I'm going to remove that and I'll be back to show you guys what the steak is looking like. Be back. Okay you guys I'm back. So here is my steak meat and it actually comes just like um, steakums would come in between the sheets so I usually get this meat by the case and I just take it like this and just kind of crumble it with my hand because as it cooks down it's going to get really soft and really pliable where I'll be able to chop it up even more um, so we're just going to give like a rough chop I'm making two pizzas tonight so this is actually a lot of meat let me just just in case let's add one more We'll add one more. Okay. And this meat does not take long at all. It cooks really quick. Super fast and quick, actually. So what I'm going to do is go in with the same seasonings, you guys. Garlic salt. And I'm going to be a little bit heavier with the meat. And uh, garlic pepper. Pepper and slap your mama. Because this meat can take on a lot of seasonings and it can easily turn out to be bland. So you do want to season your steak really good. Okay, so I'm just going to let this cook down, y'all. Y'all know the motions. Y'all didn't get to the fun part yet. Y'all know the motions. It's prep time. We got to get that meat, meat and them veggies ready for that pizza. So I'm just going to let you see how that's already browning. And if you can, y'all, try to use the 100% grilled steak. I'm telling you, it makes like a huge difference. Like I mess with steakums. I will make me a steakum sandwich on a rainy day. But some recipes just call for that real 100% steak meat, y'all. Like straight up in that. I've added a little bit of butter in here too. That's what you see that white stuff there. So let's let this cook in the seasonings and once this is all cooked down I am going to taste it to see if I need any more seasonings. But it's smelling really good. We may not but we'll see. Okay let's let this cook and I will be back. Okay YouTube fam I just wanted to double back and show you guys the pizza crust. I'm using these rectangular pans here. If you want to use circular pans, go ahead, feel, feel, go ahead, feel free. Use whatever you want to use. And again, this is just Pillsbury classic crust. Just the regular refrigerated pizza crust. Don't make it hard. Keep it simple. Simple tastes better. Okay, so what I'm about to do now is pop these in the oven to um, halfway cook. I'm going to halfway cook these bad boys. Then we're going to take it out, brush it with some garlic butter, put our nice white cheese sauce on there, and then pop it back in the oven. But I'm probably confusing y'all. So let's pop these in the oven and I will be back to show you the next step. 
Okay, y'all, let's get started on our cheese sauce that gets layered first on our bomb steak a pizza. So, got a nice little pan here. We are going to throw in some butter. Okay, throw in some butter. Right. Set that down. Let's throw in some minced garlic. However garlicky you want your pizza sauce, y'all. Okay, you really don't have to make a lot of this. This You just want to coat the bottom of your pizza. We are not making Alfredo pasta. We are putting this on pizza. So we like a lot of garlic. So I added quite a bit of garlic in here. So let's get that butter and that garlic all incorporated. Get it nice and incorporated. and garlic baby okay now we are going to go in with some heavy whipping cream okay. I'm just going by eye y'all I'm not Measuring, I couldn't even tell you how much that was. I think I'm gonna stop right there. And we are also going to go in with some mozzarella and provolone cheese blend. We are making a cheese sauce, a yummy cheese sauce. So let's add this in. I have my uh, flame on low because you don't want your garlic to burn. You don't want you don't want nothing to burn. Let's just go in with a, uh, probably about a half a cup. And let's give this a nice stir. And this should be enough to cover my two pizzas. Like I said, you really don't want to OD with this sauce because you don't want no watery pizza, y'all. Or no soupy pizza. So I'm going to let this simmer down. I am going to go in with some garlic pepper. Still keeping the season is real simple. A little bit of garlic pepper, not too much. Because remember, our veggies are seasoned and our meat is seasoned very well. So that should be enough there. And I'm just going to let this cook down until it gets nice and thick and creamy. As you can see right now, it's a little flat. So let's let this simmer down, y'all. Get nice and creamy. And I shall return. All right, YouTube fam. Now it is time for the fun part. So right here. I have some butter, garlic powder, and parsley. So I am going to brush my crust with this. No proper way to do it. Just give it a nice brush. I'm gonna start with the edges because that's where I really want this butter at. Just brush it real good. Dump it right on there and give it a nice good brush. We build in flavor. That's all we doing. The crust is gonna have flavor. The meat is gonna have flavor. The veggies is gonna have flavor. Our cheese sauce is seasoned with flavor. So this is just gonna be the ultimate cheese steak pizza. So now we have our beautiful crust. And I par baked this, y'all. So take a look at the bottom. The bottom is nice and golden brown already. So when this goes back in the oven, it's not going to take long at all. So, next let's get our nice cheese sauce that we made. And I did add um, white American cheese. Because white American cheese, for me, just pairs so good with steak. So this is mozzarella in this sauce. It's mozzarella, provolone, and American white. 
so let you see how I'm spreading this. And as your um, sauce cools, it will thicken. But I didn't have time to really show y'all the... I'm so excited to get it in the oven. So this is like all you need. So you see why I said you don't really need a lot of sauce? I'm probably going to go in with a tad bit more. And I seasoned my sauce is heavy cream, the cheeses that I mentioned to you. And um, I seasoned it with some garlic powder and some garlic pepper. So I think this is good. Just like that. See how it's thickened up already? See how it thickened up on there? So, okay. Now. Let's lay down a base of cheese. We're going back in with mozzarella and provolone. Um, at this point, you can freak your pizza however you want to. Um, this is my first video doing uh, steak pizza, so I kind of just wanted to keep it simple before I OD'd on y'all. Um, but you can definitely use, <clears throat> excuse me, you can definitely do like the four cheese pizza, use some different cheeses, some Gouda, or whatever kind of cheese you prefer. So now, remember earlier we made our beautiful seasoned steak and our beautiful veggies here. So now we are going to go down with a layer of steak. Nice layer of steak, you guys. I'm excited. I am excited. Listen, make your stuff at home. Save money. It's so easy. Run out to the store, get you a few ingredients. Ugh. So, okay, we started with some steak. Now, here's our beautiful peppers and onions and mushrooms. Okay. Oh, this is looking so good already. Okay, all right. That's our peppers, onions, and mushrooms right here. And I didn't want to saute my banana peppers because I like that bite and that taste on the banana pepper. So I am going to go in now with my hot banana peppers right out of the jar. And I'm just going to lay those sporadically over this beautiful pizza. Just like this. Not too much because these are hot, but hey. If you like really super hot stuff, go for it. Okay, add one down here, make sure they're evenly distributed. I could even move that out a little bit. Push that out a little bit. Like that. Yes, I'm gonna go in with some more steak. Yes, sir. I'm gonna go in with some more veggies. Mm, 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 mm. Some more veggies, some more steak. And make it just as meaty as you want, y'all. Make it as meaty as you want. So now we are about to go in with mozzarella cheese to top it all off. Give it a nice nightcap. Look at that. Booyah! Good. Make sure you don't leave no meat behind. Everybody want to join this party. Mm-hmm. Get that on off. Yep. Mm-hmm. Add that on that edge. Get some meat down here. So, y'all, so now what we're about to do is we are about to throw this in the oven. And like I said, our crust is already partially baked. So this is gonna go in the oven on 350. I would say not even probably 10 minutes. I just want that crust to get nice and brown up here. And I want that nice bubble, that nice brown cheesy bubbles to form on the top of my um, pizza. So I will be back guys to show you the finished product. Okay, my you beautiful YouTube family, here is the finished steak pizza or cheese steak pizza. Let me get nice and close in for you guys. Look at that. When I tell y'all, you never go order a steak pizza again. Look at this pizza. 
Look at this. Simple, easy steak pizza made at home by yours truly. Hope you guys give my way a try. If you do, let me know how it comes out in the comments below. As always, I appreciate you guys so much. Oh, let me show you guys. Um, I sliced it for you guys too so y'all could just see. Beautiful. And see it's not soggy. See that? It's not soggy. It's well proportioned. Oh my god. I love you guys. Until the next time. Stay safe and stay blessed. Mwah.